Hey, everybody, it's the coach, and this is Monday Night Football on EA Sports. On tap, we've got what should be a fairly intriguing matchup between the San Francisco 49ers and the Miami Dolphins. I'll be back at halftime to look at some of these stats and scores from Sunday's action. But for now, it's Monday Night Football. And to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, we are about 15 or so miles northwest of world-famous Miami Beach as we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the San Francisco 49ers and the Miami Dolphins. Hi, everyone. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis. Charles, you look at the Dolphins as they enter play in this one. It's been all systems go in this first month. They're off to a 4-0 start. And it's got folks believing that this is a team that's built to go all the way. You can't win the Super Bowl in September, but they're telling everyone that they're going to be there in the end. On the other side of the field for the visiting 49ers, they were losers their last time out. They're going to try to get back in the win column, but obviously they're going to have to do that in a hostile environment. And sometimes it actually works to your advantage. Now you've got to band together your team, the us against the world mentality. Let's see if they can use it and get a victory. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Get it, 30 base. Get it, 54. Line 54. Watch the run. Off the bootleg. Henderson escaping the pressure right. And a big loss here as he's taken down. D4. Give him the credit for the sack and a loss of 14 yards. That's called setting the tone right away. It certainly is, and it lets you know just how important communication is amongst the offensive line. They talk about it all the time, knowing each other's moves. You've got to be coordinated and in sync. Otherwise, your quarterback gets hit. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A big gainer there on the catch and run, 37 yards. And now a 49ers signal for a timeout defensively. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Come on, set. 90, Wolf. Right there, 54, right there. On first and 10, Henderson eluding the pressure right. He's going to He's got it with the 15. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Only took him three plays, and they're already in the red zone, just like that. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Flushed out right. He'll run it. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Here's the first carry for Kenyon Drake. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. CD, put on your OC cap here. What do you do? Second and one, you get stuff. Now third and one. You know, in the old days, I would have said we're going to line up. And he is in. Touchdown, Miami. Kenyon Drake, his third. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Mike 56, Mike 56. <laughs> On first down, Henderson flushed to his right. Going deep here for Parker. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. Ready, ready. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. To throw again. Henderson forced out to his left. And he's going to keep it here. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. It's a gain of six. Makes it An extra DB for the 49ers now on third. I'm coming. I'm coming. From the gun. Henderson escaping the pressure right. He may try and run for this. 
And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. That's something you have to be aware of as a defense and have to find a way to account for him. And if you're not going to use a spy, you're telling your guys to keep your eyes on him because when he breaks out and makes plays like that, all he does is hurt you. Have to at least be able to contain him somewhat. There they could not. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Dolphin first down. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Back to throw, Henderson. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Off play action, Henderson eluding the pressure right. He goes underneath the Drake. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he's able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. Looking to throw. Henderson. He'll try and run it. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. He had some success as a runner previously on this drive, just not as much space there that time. Yeah, this time when he pulled it down, they were ready for him. So I think he's going to have to fling a few in order to open up that running lane again. Buying time to his left. He's going to take off with it. the play fake. Henderson. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. Nick Bosa. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. And the 49ers going to take another timeout. And that's their second charge timeout here in this first quarter. They're down to one remaining. Let's go. Let's do. Back to throw. Henderson flushed out right. Now he'll pull it down. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Pretty nice gain on the scramble. Gets him 12 yards. Partner was a definite passing down, but he was able to leak out and pick up some good yardage, even though the coverage was excellent. Maybe it's not exactly how they drew it up, but he's still got a big chunk of yardage on second down. And this is caught by Parker for a Miami touchdown. Devontae Parker. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Ready? 70, Indy. Hey, keep it up, keep it up. Drake will start the drive on the ground. And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. Well, now the Niners gonna signal for their third and final timeout. And with that, they're now out of timeouts. There's still plenty of time remaining here in this second quarter. To throw on second down. Henderson being chased out left. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll give him a new set of downs. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. On first down, Drake. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Parker unable to get that one, and it's third down. One thing I know from experience is that when the deep ball is thrown and you're the defender, you've got to fight that little bit of panic that emerges. You've got to play the ball really well. It's a 50-50 jump ball play, and guess what? They took a shot. How are you going to win it? And in this case, they managed to get it done. 
No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 and a first. Under the category of obvious, you hate giving up a first down a third and long. And somehow he finds his way downfield and picks it up. And if you look at the coverage defensively, and oh, this is great, but no one accounted for him at the quarterback spot. At some point, you actually have to tackle him and get him on the ground short of the first down marker. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. Not only another first down, that also puts him over 100 yards rushing. That's not something you see very often in the NFL. We see it more in college. But I think with more of the melding of the college game with quarterbacks, we'll see this a little bit more often in the future. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. A good decision in the end to pull it and run. Gets him nine yards in a first. They'll run on first down. Richard. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Running, it's Drake. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. The Dolphins on third down. A perfect four for four thus far. This will be third and six. Looking to throw. Henderson, he can run, and he will score! Touchdown, Miami! It's their quarterback! So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. Here we go, here we go. Throwing on first down, Henderson dancing to his left. Going deep here for Stills. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Adrian Colbert, he was right there in coverage. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down, the offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. Steps away to his left. Going deep here for Stills. And that's caught inside the 35. And they finally get him, but not before he reaches the 33-yard line. Well, you don't have to be a genius to watch this game and figure out they've had plenty of success moving the football here in the first half. We've seen exhibits A, B, C, and right on down the line, haven't we? Yeah, we just saw exhibit Z right there. The defense showing some anger after giving up the big play. This time, they'll lose one or two. Off play action. Henderson forced out to his left. And he completes it to Wilson. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10 yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. The three red zone trips, three touchdowns so far. They'll look for a fourth on second and goal. Operating from the gun, Henderson flush to his right, and now he's going to use his legs. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Line of scrimmage again, the four-yard line, second and goal. A reminder coming up just a few minutes from now. We'll send you to Jonathan Coachman and our crew in Orlando. Coach will have a look back at some of the stats. And, and he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. Kenyon Drake. So we are in the second quarter now as the offense gets set to take over. They've got it first and 10. 54 is Mike. 54 is Mike. Check, check. Watch 54. Watch 54. 
No gain on him. Yeah. On first and ten, Henderson escaping the pressure right. He's going to let one go deep for Parker. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. He was looking for Parker that time, and now it's second down. Uh, Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Throwing again. Henderson eluding the pressure right. He gets it into the arms of Parker, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Well, that certainly changes things. Yeah, I think the thought process is they take this lead into the locker room, run something simple here and run the clock out. Instead, they get the big play. Now they have a chance to increase what they've done in the first half. Buying time to his left. This is caught inside the 15. And all the way down to the seven-yard line. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. He's going to take touchdown Miami. Brandon, my man, just one sentence for that one. Clinic. And that's what they've done. They lead the league in points per game this season, but it's been quick strike ability as we saw on that drive. I think Third quarter action to this offense will have a first and ten as they get set for the next drive. On first down, Henderson being chased out left. Throwing left side, it's complete. A big play there for the Dolphins and even 50 yards. Just more of the same there, partner. Guys have just been running free in the secondary this entire game. No pass rush, a lot of passes completed. Been an easy day for them. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Flushed out right. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So they say no to the penalty. The incompletion stands. It'll be second and 10. And what they want to do is go ahead and take those downs away from them. You never hey, want to hey. give extra snaps to any up. offense. That's how you get hurt. Oh, so after the incompletion on Play first, now Play second and 10. Back to throw. Henderson. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. It's the former Seahawk, Richard Sherman. Parker, the intended target. If they needed a break. They needed to make a play here in the third quarter. It'll be a first and 10 coming up as this offense yeah. takes over possession of the football in the third quarter. Off the play fake, Henderson flushed to his right. Now he'll let it go deep right, trying to fit it into Moore, but it's intercepted. It's the former Seahawk, Richard Sherman. And now look at this, big game, but a fumble. And I think they are going to get this one back. Boy, that would have been something, double turnovers, but instead... After a good punt, this offense will start with tough field position inside the 10. And now the first throw for the backup quarterback. Dancing to his left. Going deep here for Stick. It got his man complete. It's a big play there for Miami. 46 yards. Second down, it's Drake. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. The Miami first down, that one going for a gain of 11. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Nick Bosa able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. 
And that's the second sack of the game, but this player, disruptive in all phases, whether he's going upfield, coming underneath, you name it. He's a big time guy you have to block. And he's got his target, that's more. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's gonna be made at the 49ers 22 yard line. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around and make a play on the football. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. So after the incompletion, second and 10 for the 22. Second and 10. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Looking to throw. Bryant under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this score will stay right where it is. So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. It's our time. It's our time. Throwing on first down. Bryant. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked up by Akella Witherspoon. Now following the field goal, what can this offense do? We're about to find out. Let's go now. Come on, 60 yards. Check, check. Watch 54. Watch 54. I'm coming. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. And that'll be incomplete. The flag was down, so they took a shot, defense. thinking it's on the defense. Let's see. Wait a second. They did not accept that after the incompletion. The decline. What? I'm, I'm, your, your look is just as puzzled as mine. I got nothing for you here. You have to take that penalty, don't you? It's free yards. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Kenny Stills, the intended receiver, and that takes us from second to third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. He's going to wind up and air it out. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Despite the lead here in the fourth, they're still taking shots. Not content to sit on this lead at all. And to me, it raises the question of what's right in this game nowadays. Do you sit on the ball and run it because you have enough of a Looking for Stills here, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Akella Witherspoon. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. We are in the fourth and final quarter as the offense will have the football starting this drive first and ten. First and ten, Bryant, he's going to air one out. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked off by Akella Witherspoon. Trying to get it that time to Stills. Now following the interception, this offense will get another shot at it as he'll quickly head back onto the field. Throwing to start the drive. Bryant going deep here for Parker. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Devontae Parker, the intended receiver, and it's second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. To throw again, Bryant. And that going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. The Dolphins on third down. They've hit on six of their eight tries. Very good. This is third and ten. Back to throw. Bryant. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. 
Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind go. up incomplete. The Dolphins can't... Con So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. On first down, Bryant going deep here for Stills. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era and we think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. That's all they care about right now. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 46. Now, we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead right pursuit. Right there, what a right running there, start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. It's the former Seahawk, Richard Sherman. And they have the football that will set up shop at the 33-yard line. And they will... So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Throwing on first down. Bryant, he's going to air one out. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing again. Bryant. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by a Keller Witherspoon. After a good punt, this offense will start with tough field position inside the 10. On first and 10, Bryant. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. They can't. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. And yeah, this one drops incomplete, but I think the defense jumped. Offside. Defense. So they decline the penalty. Yeah, that seems a little <laughs> odd. I'm trying to work through it and work with them to figure out why. Well, someone's got to be confused. I, that's what I think. I'm pretty sure that the bench is saying, take the penalty. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by a Akella Witherspoon. Stills the intent. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. On first down, Bryant. He's going to let one go deep for Parker. And this is going to be intercepted. It's the former Seahawk, Richard Sherman. And the return out shy of midfield to the 46-yard line. Parker unable to get that one. Start on the ground with Breda. And he works his way forward for about four up to the midfield stripe. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. Here we go, here we Following go. the pickup of four, here's second and six. On second down, it's Coleman. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. And he'll get this down close to a first down at about the Dolphins' 44. Here we go, here we go. Here we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. Now Garoppolo escaping the pressure right. Able to haul it in is Kittle. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. 
How about 25 yards on third down? They'll take it. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Mika Fitzpatrick. tie the defense had other plans they were already in field goal range but boom an interception i don't know if this was a case of being a little bit too greedy with the opportunity to put points on the board but give credit to the guys on the defensive side hung in there battled and made a key play now the pass finding its way into the hands of eric ebron So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Eluding the pressure right. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. So he's unable to complete it there and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here? Or is it just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. On third and two, Henderson flushed out right. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Tie game, fourth quarter, and they're going for this thing on fourth down. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as it comes with exactly a minute to go in the football game. Boy, not deterred from those first two failed attempts. They're going to go a third time here on fourth down. Looking to throw. Henderson. And that is incomplete. The Dolphins can't convert on fourth down. And the 49ers are going to get the football back. Here we go, here we go. So they pass on the chance to kick the go-ahead field goal, and that may be one they're going to regret big time. And I think the head coach is going to have some explaining to do, yeah. right? Because in this situation, you kick the field goal to give yourself that chance of victory by going for it. Maybe you're saying you don't trust your field goal kicker, or maybe he knows something we don't. Maybe the kicker's hurt. So there'll be a lot of questions at the post-game press conference. Makes the rest of this fourth quarter and the rest of this game very interesting. Much more room to operate under after the big play. Here's first and ten. To throw is Garoppolo. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. To throw is Garoppolo. Deep ball for Goodwin. And that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Garoppolo to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he's on to kick it away. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. With it is Brown. It's a nifty return of 29 yards. And it'll be Dolphin football. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. They can still get into field goal range, partner. They got to work quickly, though. I agree with you totally. Find a way to get the ball downfield and out of bounds. In a perfect world, they know what hash they want to get to for their kicker, and they already know the distance that he feels comfortable. 
That'll dictate what they do on offense. See if they can get in his range. Come on, Ball set. on the 42 as they come up second and 10. To throw again, Henderson. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. And with inside of 10 seconds, eight to be precise, we get whistles and a timeout on the field. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10 from the gun. Henderson, flush to his right. Here we go, this to avoid overtime. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Back to throw, Henderson. And his throw's gonna be incomplete. So four quarters wasn't enough and we are off to overtime. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. Except for their first drive here in overtime. And this is where the crowd can really become a factor. They've had to battle it all day, but I know what you're saying. In overtime, that gets doubled, doesn't it? At least, because now the crowd really wants to be involved and help their team. And that first drive can dictate the whole thing because they know if this team takes it downfield and scores a touchdown, it's game over. And it's been loud in here so far. To throw again on second down. Garoppolo, and that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on, third down. In need of a third and 10 conversion to keep this opening drive of OT alive. And Garoppolo may be a free play. And he's gonna go down, but a penalty marker too, and they might very well have jumped the snap there. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. Open man is Taylor. He's got it. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. It'll go as a first down for San Francisco on a pickup of 16. Here's Garoppolo on first and 10. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Flying in to blow that play up, Alex Okafor. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. Jumpy on the right side of the line. Sometimes when you're on the end, a Still little bit farther down. away from the ball, any type of movement will get you to jump, go, and that's go, exactly what happened there. Three ball, three ball. Now Garoppolo throwing on second. That's complete to his receiver, Pettis. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Give him 32 on the play. Oh, big plays back and forth just continue. Both offenses excel. And I hear the excitement in your voice while you're calling this game. This hurts my soul as a defensive player watching these teams go up and down the field and put points on the board. Do me a favor the rest of the way. Sit back, relax, and just appreciate the offensive dominance that's going on out here. I'll give it a shot. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, Sometimes it's off or not. In this case, in the right spot, he'll force the incompletion. Yeah, had his hands. Oh, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Anthony Brown. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. 
Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. Here's a second and five now after the offsides penalty. Garoppolo after the fake give to Brita. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. The intended receiver, Marquise Goodwin, and it's third and five. That's one of those pivotal plays that'll just stick out in everybody's mind from this game. If he picks that off, what a momentum swing down here in the end zone. And he did his job. He knocked the ball away. But it does feel like a letdown for him and his teammates, doesn't it? A chance to intercept it, turn it back over to his offense with a chance to win the game. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us go, is they believe go. it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. And this is incomplete. The Niners go for it, but it doesn't work out. And the Dolphins' defense is able to hold. And he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing, Charles, to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of locking in on those key downs. You know, I've seen, you know, you and I both been the practices where we've seen, hey, third down situation, big third down alert, lock in here, fourth down play, make sure you focus just a little bit extra. It didn't pay off in that situation. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. They'll buy some time right. There goes a deep ball, end zone. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. Back to throw now on second and 10. And he finds Parker here, complete. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. Second and two. And this will be caught. Touchdown. They needed overtime to get it done, but put this one in the win column. Now, partner, a great game that we got to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this one, I got some overtime, a little whipped cream on top. Look at you, trying to make this whole thing palatable. I just want you to pay for my meal later. Hey, you really just wanted four quarters, <laughs> what you wanted. But how much fun was that? We had that type of a game where we got us to overtime, and then we get the dramatic ending to finish things off as well. What a game. So for the Dolphins, their strong September has carried over to October as they move to 5-0. And, oh. and they'll get another home date next week as the Patriots will come to town. Meanwhile, for the 49ers, they drop below 500 to 2-3 with a loss. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves 